Hopefully it's during your life where you realize or you ask yourself the question, like, what is my life actually about? Like, what makes me get up in the morning? Why do I do what I do? Like, I wake up in the morning, I go to work or I go to school, I spend eight hours there or I go to this job, which is, you know, it's all right, it's great, but I guess a lot of my time I spend watching like cat videos on YouTube or something, right? But I go to this job and all, all, everything that I'm doing in life, it's fine and great and dandy, but in the end of the day, what is it all really about? And the issue of, and this is something that even psychologists often talk about, the issue of the big oops, right? And that big oops is basically when you show up at the end of your life and you look back at your life and you ask yourself the question, what was all that for? I woke up every day, uh, 5 a.m. in the morning to beat traffic, to get to this job. Like I said, maybe you like it, maybe you don't like it. And I, you know, I was in this turmoil every day. Like I worked so hard every day and now I'm sitting on my deathbed and what was all that for, right? And, the, and, and when a person doesn't address that issue or they ignore it, and let's face it, it's very easy to just ignore that issue. It's very easy to be like, I don't wanna think about that. I just, I just wanna continue. It's more convenient to just live the life that I'm living and just keep in this pattern that I have for myself. And so for, I often, when I, when I speak to especially young people, uh, I often ask young people this question. I think a lot of young people, they're not asked this question. A lot of Muslims sometimes will tell uh, the younger generation that you need to be a better Muslim. You need to pray. You need to do this and do that and all that kind of stuff. And we never actually talk to them about the big questions, the bigger issues in terms of like, okay, what is your life really about? What do you hope to accomplish at the end of your life? What are you hoping for at the end of your life when you're sitting on your deathbed? And if, if God gives you that chance where you actually have a moment of reflection, many people actually don't get that chance, right? Uh, some people die in a way where they're not anticipating to die. And Allah is in control of that. But uh, that question of, you know, if you're on your deathbed and Allah has given you that chance to look back at your life, will you have an answer for what your life was actually about? And really in finding that purpose, subhanAllah, is where we find that, that inner peace. And subhanAllah, as Muslims, part of our aqidah, part of our faith, part of our belief system, part of our creed, is that the more we attach our heart to the Creator, the more free we feel. That in the end of the day, if our life is just about worldly things, if it's just about money, and usually, let's be honest, it, break, it comes down to just a couple of things, a few things. Either it's family, uh, you know, marrying the perfect person, having children, blah, blah, or it's money, or for some people it's fame or popularity, whatever. it just breaks down a couple of things. If that's it, that in the end of the day, you will at certain, at, at, there is a type of shackle that you're putting on your soul. And it is truly that when, it's truly when you submit to Allah, submit to the Creator, when you're truly gonna feel free. And this is why if, you, if you've ever spoken to a new Muslim or someone who has accepted Islam recently, they often describe this experience of feeling immensely free. And it's subhanAllah, it, you, that would seem like something very counterintuitive where, you know, there may be someone who lives a life of um, basically just doing whatever they like or the, or the issue of, or, the, or living a lifestyle where you say to yourself, uh, if it feels good to me, I'll do it. Or as is the, the famous um, Irish pub saying, uh, eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow you will die, right? That's, that's, a, that's a life uh, goal for some people, right? But if you go from that type of lifestyle where you're pretty much, quote unquote, free to do whatever you want, just if it feels good to you, do it. If you enjoy your life, do it. You go from that to now praying five times a day, not eating pork, uh, not drinking alcohol, and all this other stuff. How is it that you feel free? Is because that freedom is true freedom. It's the freedom of the heart. It's the freedom of the soul. And this is why, subhanAllah, one of the things you often find is that new Muslims or people or Muslims who first start practicing their deen, they are very, very active in calling other people to Islam, right? Why? It's not because we as Muslims are trying to take over the world or anything, right? It's because you feel this immense freedom. You feel this immense ease. And if you've been in this situation, you know what I'm talking about. And you're like, I want everyone else to feel this way as well. And you feel like you have lived a life where you're basically blinded or you're shackled by just your worldly, your bane desires to eat, drink, to eat, drink, have fun. Like that's it. Like that's all life is about. And now you have a higher purpose, right? Even subhanAllah, 
uh, like I said, if you go back, to, if, you, if you look at like AA meetings and uh, like narcotics knowledge meetings, one of the things they tell you in those meetings is you have to have a bigger purpose in life. And they don't obvi obviously, they don't define it as, they don't tell you what your bigger purpose should be. But one of, the, one of the points is that you need to live for something beyond just yourself and beyond just this moment or this time that you're living in. Because the problems that you're dealing with, these issues that you're dealing with, this constriction that you're feeling in your life, it surrounds you and it surrounds your circumstances, but life is a lot bigger than that. And when you look at life and you, and you think of a higher purpose and you look at find purpose and meaning in your life, that is a way that you free yourself from that type of restriction or that, that, those, those feelings that are keeping you shackled in your desires or your addiction or the stress that you're feeling.